If you do not have a lead system in place for your coaching business, you don't have a business. Leads are what is going to drive the livelihood of your business. So today I'm going to show you five ways to get qualified leads into your coaching business. In case we haven't met, hi, my name is Sandy Sinden. I am a marketing leader, mindset mentor, and owner of Escape the 9 to 5, a low-cost monthly membership that helps coaches reach that five to 7,000 plus mark a month in their coaching business so that you can live the freedom lifestyle you desire. So let's get started. What are five ways in which you can start to drive leads into your business? First is to optimize your online presence. You need to make sure that you have a consistent and clear presence online. Whether that means you're just on Facebook or you're on Facebook and Instagram and YouTube, it needs to be clear exactly who you are, what you do, and how you help people so that if somebody lands on one of your platforms, they know whether you're the right person to help them with their problem, their pain, their issue, whatever it might be. Second, you need to leverage content marketing, but not just for sake of putting content out there. It needs to be valuable. It needs to provide a transformation a small transformation, but a transformation. Remember, we're not trying to get our client from A to Z with our content. We're trying to give them small steps forward so that they see that you are the person that can help them with whatever problem or issue they may have. Strategy three, you must utilize email marketing. Email marketing is still the number one way to sell your service. And in order to have an email strategy, you have to be building an email list. There's lots of different ways to get into building an email list that I'm not going to get into here, but I just want you to know that you have to make sure that the email strategy is part of your bigger strategy. You can check one of my other videos that'll dive deeper into email strategy, but I just want to make sure that you have that as part of it. And you don't, you know, people will say, oh, email is gone. We don't, you know, it's not being used anymore, but I'm here to tell you that's not true. It is still the number one way in which businesses are building their business is through email. Strategy four is to network and collaborate. If you can create some strong partnerships with other businesses that can help your clients, that is so powerful because now you're dipping into their list of people who are new to you. So you're expanding your business, but you're also providing great value to your clients. So don't just partner with anybody, but make sure that they are strategic alliances that are going to help your clients again, have a transformation, take a step forward, uncover something that maybe they didn't know. So the other piece is getting out there and networking. You know, it is really powerful if you can create yourself a group that you can lean on and bounce ideas off of. And from that, strategic alliances tend to happen. The last strategy is offering free value. This might come in the form of a workshop. It might come in the form of a video. It might come in the form of a masterclass. But when people start to see the free value you can give them without charging them and they have this great value, you've been able to solve some problem for them, they're going to start to trust you because it is about building trust. They need to know that you understand what they're going through and that you can help them. So the more that you can offer free content and don't be scared to, a lot of times I hear, well, what if I give everything away free? I won't have anything for my course or my program or my membership. It's not true. And the big thing is when you have a course membership, the value they're paying for is because you've organized it and they get you. When you're providing free value through workshop challenges, stuff like that, they're not, they don't have the full picture. They have a piece of it, but it helps 
people start to build a connection and a relationship with you because they see that you understand and that you can actually help them. These are just five ways. There are so many other ways that you can drive traffic, but I wanted to give you a place to start. These are kind of your five basics that you have to have. And then from there, you can start to build out more. If you want more tips, more strategies like this, make sure you subscribe because every week I'm putting out new content. So go ahead and subscribe and that way you'll get notified when I have new video trainings that are coming out. Thank you and I look forward to seeing you on the inside.